Um, so welcome, uh, as Vito said. Uh, good evening to uh, Commissioner, Peter, the Chairman. Thank you for joining us here tonight, uh, our friends in the media and uh, our distinguished uh, partners and guests. Uh, last year, as, as many of you know, we held the first ever NBA Asia Challenge uh, along with Solar and with uh, great support, as usual, from the PBA. Uh, it's the highest profile event that we had done today in the Philippines, um, and we were extremely pleased with uh, the, the outcome of the event last year. You know, the fan reactions that we get, the hospitality that we receive here in the Philippines uh, is truly amazing, and the NBA appreciates it uh, very much. We also understand the importance of bringing out the players to the market to interact with the basketball leagues, to interact with the local media, and most importantly, to interact with the Filipino uh, fans here. Uh, as I mentioned, we're incredibly grateful and humbled by the reception that we are always receive here. Uh, and, and for sure, we're asked the same question all the time, you know, what is it like in other countries? And I can say again, there's, there's no country greater uh, that has a greater passion for basketball uh, than the Philippines. So with that said, I'm very, very happy to announce that we will be staging uh, the 2010 NBA Asia Challenge once again. Uh, this year's event will be held right here once again at the Aeronautic Coliseum on August 27th. Uh, and the exhibition game format this year is going to be a little bit different than it was last year. Uh, and it will feature two teams, uh, each with a mixed roster of NBA legends, NBA development league players, PBA legends, and current PBA all-stars. So the format is a little bit different, but we're very, very excited about that. Uh, like last year, the N NBA legends that we have confirmed to participate in the game are an extremely accomplished group, and I'd like to now announce who those players are. Uh, the, first, the first player is a, a two-time Olympic gold medalist with Team USA. He was a nine-time NBA All-Defensive Selection. He was a nine-time NBA All-Star, was voted the NBA's most uh, the, the defensive player of the year for the NBA in 1996, and in 2006 with the Miami Heat won an NBA championship. He's the only player in NBA history to accumulate 20,000 points 5,000 rebounds, 8,000 assists, and 2,000 steals. Uh, that player is Gary Payton. Uh, next player, after being selected as the fifth overall pick in the 1988 draft, NBA draft by the Golden State Warriors, he played for four teams over his illustrious career, which, which saw his number two jersey for the Sacramento Kings being retired. He also won a gold, a gold medal in 1996 with Team USA. In 1989, he was named the NBA's Rookie of the Year in his first season. And in 1995, he was honored as the MVP of the NBA All-Star Game. He won an NBA championship as well with the Los Angeles Lakers in 2002. And he's a six-time All-Star, Mitch Richmond. In 1989, uh, our next player was drafted by the Miami Heat as the fourth player overall. Earlier that year, at the University of Michigan, he led his team to an NCAA championship and was subsequently named the Big Ten Player of the Year. In 2000, he also won an NBA championship with the Los Angeles Lakers. Very very happy about that. Uh, he's a three-time All-Star and uh, was the 1997 NBA All-Star Game MVP. That is Glenn Rice. And finally, um, our last player enjoyed success at a very early age. After helping his high school team to three consecutive state titles, he was named Mr. Basketball in the state of Michigan and a consensus pick as the 1991 National High School Player of the Year. Uh, after high school, he stayed in his hometown of Michigan and became a key member of the, the famous Fab Five at the University of Michigan was eventually selected as the number one overall pick in the 1993 draft. His rookie year in 1994, 1994 saw him win the Rookie of the Year honor, and he went on to be a five-time NBA All-Star. He's only one of five active players in the NBA to boast career averages of 20 or more points or 10 or more rebounds per game during the length of his career. 
one of the most effective power forwards of his generation. Uh, our fourth player is Chris Webber. Uh, joining, the, joining the NBA legends this year, uh, like last year, are some of our best and brightest uh, future players from the NBA Development League. Uh, there will be four players again this year coming out to join us. The first player is uh, Richie Fromm of the Reno Bighorns. The second player is Darnell Lazar of the, Mi the Maine Red Claws. Chris, Chris McRae of the Sioux Falls Sky Force and Mark Tyndall of the Iowa Energy. So those players will come with our core legends. We also plan on providing some authentic NBA entertainment, so we're pleased to announce that there will be, uh, again this year, a dance team and a mascot coming from one of our hottest teams, no pun intended, but the team is the Miami Heat dance team, and Bernie the mascot will be joining us. Um, this tremendous event obviously could not happen with, with, without a lot of uh, important groups uh, supporting us uh, the entire way. Uh, our our long-term uh, partner, the organizer of this event, is Solar, Solar Television Network, and the presenting partners of the event is going to be Solar TV and Basketball TV. Official partners of our event are Asia Miles, as well as Toshiba, and supporting partners include Coors Light, Gatorade, and Spalding. The venue partner, of course, is right here at Araneta Coliseum. And of course, last but not least, uh, the PBA, the PBA legends, and the PBA all-stars. We could not do it without their uh, tremendous support, uh, as usual. So once again, on behalf of the NBA, thank you for coming out tonight. And we look forward to seeing you all on the 27th of August. Thank you very much.